Hi guys, welcome to another Transformers toy review. This time we're having a look at War for Cybertron Siege Starscream. It's a Voyager figure here. I picked this up from In Demand Toys. I've got him in his vehicle mode. It's like a Tetra Jet, a futuristic Cybertron jet, as uh, featured in the kind of first few episodes. There's a few sort of little sort of tweaks to it if you like. You haven't got like sort of not quite as pointed at the top but uh, you've got the same thing with like the boosters on the back here uh, you can see here this is Starscream's kind of chest section here which is mirrored in his kind of his boosters on the back here uh, but I think it all ties in well so you've got three here which all painted again kind of gunmetal paint here and battle damage across here and um, you've also got a couple little ones down here the guns themselves aren't painted at all and you can either plug them in here or underneath here depending on which you prefer and they look fine uh, probably could have done with some paint but uh, that's absolutely fine you've got lots of kind of battle damage that's been added to Starscream in his vehicle mode a couple of Decepticon symbols he's got this nice visor across here and some grey paint and red paint which is done ever so well along the side here. The blue paint on the front here is done nicely with a bit of battle damage on the front. Overall I think in vehicle mode the paint and battle damage is applied pretty well. I think it, it looks uh, decent. It's not too much, not too little and they've kind of done it in the right sort of places. Um, although obviously there could be improvements. I actually think on this side it's a little bit heavy so it's probably a little bit better on, on this side I would say. Um, in terms of, um, there is a little peg underneath here for a flight stand. You can see underneath, actually, there is quite a lot of battle damage, which will then come out in his robot mode, um, which we'll look to transform in a second. But uh, I just thought I'd show you that. As well as that, we've also got his... I sort of cut off the bits and pieces from the actual box here. But you get some nice box art here which no doubt will come up on the little cards I'd expect at some point, the Transformers card game. So some fantastic artwork as usual for the box. And then on the back here, which I've cut this bit out as well, 22 steps from robot to vehicle mode. And it just says fire blast effects. Um, sorry, fire blast. And those are the, the different effects that you can have. So you can add them in various different places. So you can add them on the end of the gun here. Um, I guess you can't add them on here, but you can add them on the back here if you want it to look like he's sort of taking off. And there's a few different ones on here to look as if he's either sort of pushing off here or it could be that he's been shot down or about to be shot down here as well. So it just shows you some of the different battle masters and kind of, they're kind of like target master ones that you can use and the different effects that you can use with it. So that's that. Um, yeah, so here he is in his vehicle mode looking all lovely. What we're going to do now is we're going to transform him and get him into his robot mode and have a look at him now. Right, okay, so first thing you want to do is take these bits off here, like so. Um, this bit is going to come undone. Now this bit here seems to always want to come off these hinges here so just be careful of that this piece here you want to split down the middle now it's a little bit tricky so you do have to sort of get your nails in between so there okay that's one that's done this is going to unpeg from here like that going to unpeg from the other side as well and just push this up here and that these bits peg into the bottom of here so you just want to push it away like so like that you can see where these bits come down and peg into there like that push these out to the side here and then these bits here are going to come up into this gap here so you want to push this away here this piece here is going to open up and peg into the back of here, like so. 
these bits are going to come up here like that and they're going to be sort of those side pieces here. I think that's a really clever way of doing it. The fists, arms will then peg from the side here. They peg into the legs like that. The legs will fold down like so. It will swivel around like that. It will then open up either one side like that, so then you can start to stand them up a little bit. This piece is going to come down, and this is actually, I think, the first time I've transformed him without that bit popping off. The head will then come up. And you notice it's then there's a little grey piece pegged on the back. That's just to help bring it up, and then you just want to fold that back down into that space like so. There's two pegs here which will slot into here, so you just want to get that in like that and like that on either side. You then want to extend his arms out like so, like that, and move these around. And then the fists will open up. Let's try and remember which way this opens up like that. Close it up. Again on the other side. Like that. Fold his fist out. Close it back together again. Bring the wings back in. Like so. And you're more or less done. And then it's a case of putting the arm blasters on. So you pop them onto here if you like. Or you can pop them lower down on the arm entirely up to you and there you've got him in his robot mode and uh, I think he looks pretty good I have to say I'll bring him a little bit closer up so you can take a look at him he's got light piping through his eyes there it shows up quite nicely on, on this light silver paint for the face the head sculpt is pretty good he's got a bit of a grumpy face I would prefer him with the kind of smirk there's no silver paint in here which would have been nice but as mentioned you've got that gunmetal grey for the turbines in here and the kind of off-white grey in here with the translucent plastic for the cockpit section which is done really nice so it looks like the uh, G1 Starscream in robot mode although it's um, obviously a, a tetrajet you've got red paint in here and two Decepticon symbols either side for the wings um, this is all a bit plant you know hollow I guess but there is detailing in here as there is lots of really fine detailing throughout the figure there's probably a little bit too much in terms of weathering on his legs and on the arms particularly this one's a little bit heavy the head itself goes down and up um, you can move it quite a fair way up because of the transformation and all the way around the arms come up here you can then move them forward a little bit as a butterfly joint. They go all the way around. If you move the wings out of the way, back to the side here, uh, you get rotation in here, which goes all the way around, and then double jointed joint there, right up to the top there. The fists just rotate around. Other than that, it's, uh, the waist rotates around here. The legs go all the way up to the top here. Uh, they're restricted because of the backpack here, but other than that, they would be able to move back all the way out to the side. You get rotation right at the top of the thigh and a real deep bend in the knee here. Part of the bend in here, it's just sort of this piece here can collapse in on itself, which is a really clever feature. The feet move forward and back and you've got a tilt in there as well. So you can get some really dynamic poses in this with this guy and uh, you can have him firing you know his his gun at someone kind of like that I think that looks really good. I mean, if you wanted to, you can kind of cheat and pull it, pop it 
on here if you want to. Um, and that means you can kind of get that kind of pose like like that if you do want to. But uh, yeah, so you can get lots of different poses out of this guy. Like I said, the arms, you've got lots of movement there. The head as well. And the legs. You just get loads of flexibility with this guy. And you think you do have an option for a flight stand underneath here as well. I'm really looking forward to getting the other Tetra Jets as well. And uh, I think these will be well worth picking up uh, if you can get hold of them. So in terms of a recommend, it's a definite from me. You know, I'm a big sort of Seeker fan, as are most people, I think. But I think this is well worth getting if you can do. I know they've announced Thundercracker. I'm not sure if they've shown Skywalkers yet, but I'm sure you will follow. I'd imagine as well the Generation Select line will maybe pick up on one or two different figures as well. Can't recommend this figure enough. Awesome version of Starscream. Looks great in both modes, robot and vehicle mode. Transformation is nice and slick. The only real criticism I could say is perhaps they've gone a little bit heavy, heavy sorry, on the weathering. But that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.